I need to dry my eyes a little bit. Uh, five star acting from you, Cruz. Honestly, that was that was good shit. I was an actor back then in school. I'll have you know, and I <laughs> can try on command. I was in theater for like three years. Uh, but really, I actually didn't I, know that about you. Yeah, yeah. Um, back whenever I was in high school, I only participated in like one play, but I was in theater school. I, I was basically like in drama class for three years. Really, what'd you do? Mm -hmm. Um, but the the one play that I participated in was uh, I was the Broadway revision of Mary Poppins. Mm. That was for my senior year, and that was the only performance that I ever participated in, aside from uh, going to the ITS uh, competition, I want to say, in, like, mid-year. The funny thing of me going to that old guy's school was uh, I actually did more backstage stuff, actually. Mm. But usually, with this being an old guy's school, we had a sister school that was an old girl's school that we usually paired up with for our plays and whatever. But on the days mm -hmm. to where, you know, it was during school classes or, like, we couldn't line up, you know, backstage would either do their own duties or, you know, just stand in with your piece of paper, read the line. So you might as well have some fun with it, right? Yeah. <laughs> so that was worth the most of it, but I prefer backstage more than natural acting. Because I was a band kid first and foremost anyway. That doesn't mean I love my role playing, though. <laughs> so good, I'm serious right now. I feel like I could have done better, but I didn't want to break down crimes. I feel like I would have, I would have dragged things out oh, way too much. That <laughs> That, like I said, that was that was a five star performance. Honestly, I I was I was very well convinced. Well, uh, I let me ask you this then: Can you try and Yo. command then? Uh... Is that a skill that you can, uh, that you have? It's, you know, that's always the <laughs> intro question to add thing. No, unfortunately. Really? I mean, I could I could if I really put the practice in for it, but it's been necessarily I I, I that's not really something that I can. I mean, I wouldn't say it has to be put the practice into it. There is a method to wanting to learn how to try on command in that way or so. If you sure. want to know the secret to it. It's not really that much of a secret. It's more of just kind of like an, em an a, uh, empathy kind of thing. You just think isn't about... Just kind of... Oh, sorry, go on. Hey, isn't it kind of just like thinking about like, like sad thoughts or some shit? It's more of a way when you're trying to do that kind of acting... Because if you're trying to force yourself to cry, it's kind of like popping a vein. You're not really going to do it necessarily. Without, sorry, you're not going to do it forcefully. Instead, while you're doing that, yeah, you are thinking about sad thoughts, but you're trying to find something that really empathizes with you. So, for instance, for that scene, I'm thinking about, uh, and I'll, I'll be honest with you, uh, the times I've broken down crying to you when I'm drunk off my ass in VR chat. Oh, oh Cruzy, you can't tell. Oh, my heart! I mean, I'm just being honest here, but those were low times for me. And quite frankly, even if they didn't have any alcohol, that resounds with me. And that's... Yeah, that's... Uh, that. Still, that's 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 good. That's... I'm seriously astounded. See... It's actually my first time actually seeing you do acting. It really did kind of stun me, though. Well, I do suggest you go on my YouTube and watch the rest of this Valhalla series, because this is all we're doing. It's a full visual novel. Or check out the story segments of Reverse Co-op, since that's just me solo, and that is only me acting, Kate. But voice hmm. acting is always great, and if I wanted, like, the one regret that I still haven't done is take voice acting lessons, because hmm. I am a guy. There's no secret <clears throat> about that. I'm, I'm a guy RL. You've seen me. Yes. If I wanted to, because I'm just a cute anime girl online, my dream would be to take voice acting lessons and pass as a girl... Not because, you know, any trans, anything like that, or some confident being a guy. I just want to fuck with people. <laughs> oh, wait! I, that's a new recording. It's four minutes in. I demonetized myself. <laughs> no! <laughs> no! <laughs> I'm one minute off. Wasn't me this time. Let's go! <laughs> but yeah, like, it, it takes a real man to be best girl. But, quite literally, like, like, all, ha all respect to all my trans friends that are going through their voice acting and hearing their progress, holy shit. But I would love to do the same thing as them. Not to, you know, pass, but just just screw with my friends. <laughs> and also for the voice acting. I love voice acting. It's great. Visual novel nights with the boys are absolutely always amazing. That's why I'm so glad you agreed to do this with me. Thank you, love. <laughs> You're having a good time too now. Indeed. Alrighty. <clears throat> let's hope it's a better. Let's hope it's better now, right? 
Let's uh, hope for not uh, for not too much more darker topics tonight. Depending on how mm. long we go. <sighs> I hope everything goes all right. Ah, hey, Jamie. Mm. That'll be a breath of fresh air. Um, Jamie. Ah, Jill. Gillian isn't here, I see. Are you all right? You look distracted. I'm fine. Don't worry. If you say so. Jill! Where do I teach for if he needs to use the bathroom? And you cut off. I was turning away <laughs> from my mic to yo as data. Jill! Where do I teach for if I need to use the bathroom? The cage has a small litter box included. Ooh! That's convenient! Four? Four's my cat. Some apartments in my building are being inspected today. So I brought them to work in case they enter my place while I'm gone. Uh, I see. What can I get you? The usual gut punch. Coming right up. Are you gonna load it up with alcohol? <laughs> We're not gonna fully are, load are you this gonna thing give, up. Are you gonna give the Jamie alcohol? <laughs> Do I give the Jamie alcohol? <laughs> this is gonna be the joke for every customer from now on, dude. <laughs> you started this. Anyway, if it's optional, we give them the alcohol. I mean, that's the definition of optimal karma train, Ein. That's the meme. Uh... Anyway, Kate goes, I'm no. trans, but I'm not against being girly popped and hit them with the sudden bass voice. <laughs> you, I mean, it's the same principle as just going up to somebody, doing something outrageous, and then just going, no one will ever believe you, and walking away. Like, you just absolutely throw them the brain destroyer. You just hit them with the absolutely high voice. It's like, I'm so kawaii. <laughs> ada, ada. No, I can do, I, I, that was, that was cutesy. I can do a breathier one for you. <laughs> I was, uh, I was, okay, uh, I'm gonna be real, I was half tempted to try and just do the fucking, like, anime milf, ada ada. <laughs> do it, do it. <clears throat> uh, uh, uh. That was, that was a little too fast, you need to be breathier. <sighs> ada, ada. Okay, that was a little what too is, drawn out. What we need to strike the Goldie Watts zone. Into? What has this Vaughn devolved into? I'm, anyway, Crimson says, The immediate base range is always fun to pull. Granted, it's not as dramatic to me as my natural is a nice tenor. I feel like... I mean, it's... Okay, Ayn, I need your opinion on this. Because everybody in the Discord here said that uh, I have a pretty androgynous voice. And I don't see myself with that. Do you? Uh, I got the... OJ! OJ! Your reaction tells me everything! <laughs> Considering how... Do I expose you on stream again? Uh, <coughs> do I expose you on stream? Ex ex expose how? I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> you know what I mean, love. Mm. Actually, I don't. <laughs> you love me. Oh, well, that's a... And? <laughs> Not in the teasing way, I mean. <coughs> you can admit your feelings. It's a safe space on stream. I mean, yes, but it's also unrequited. So moving on. <laughs> oh, OJ, OJ, you're shutting it down immediately. <laughs> wow. Wait, wait to stop my fun. It's fine, <laughs> fine. We won't tell, says Kate. Dies from Peach. <laughs> this is amazing. Exactly. Yo, are amazing. I love my community. I'm dying over here. Ew. Oh, okay. All right. That was the chill. Of the rest of you guys. Okay. Back to business. <clears throat> YouTube. The YouTube yeah. bots are absolutely gonna hate me. I'm gonna get so uh, many dislikes in this video alone. <laughs> I thought when someone ordered a gut punch, you had to make a joke. About giving the client a punch to the stomach or something. Oh, that in theory, yeah. Gil's the only one that pays attention to that, though. Really? He didn't receive proper training. He read an old manual my boss had. 
there was some sort of stipulation mentioning the need to say puns, but it seems like it was some sort of anti-counterfeit measure. I mean, if they copied such a silly stipulation, they'd be caught in the act. Like when the dictionary is out of fake words, a spot if someone else just copied all of it. Yep. Why not tell them that? It's too amusing, to be honest. So what's on your mind about... Uh, what's on your mind that's distracting you so much? I Damn it, take four. another shot! <laughs> I'm club number four tonight? All right. I take the shot of water. Nothing you should think about too much. It's like those times you just feel uneasy for no good reason. You might have actual reasons to feel that way, though. Come to think of it, mercenary is quite the uncommon occupation, wouldn't you say? <laughs> Says you, Ein. <laughs> I'd like to see what I do as bounty hunting, actually. How so? The only jobs I don't take are those where I have to deal with people who just happen to be in the wrong place. There are some people willing to pay to off someone that has done no wrong. Things like killing someone that owns a house in the way of some building or a nosy reporter. I'm not better for turning a blind eye to such requests, but I'm not going to be the one dealing with those. The bounty hunter part comes where? If I'm sent to kill someone that has done something like stealing or killing and I get paid for it, you could see it as bounty hunting. Yeah, I guess. It's just cheap justifications for killing people, though. In the end, they're cheap. However, I won't be one to kill for petty reasons like those. But let's change the subject here. I'll have something bitter if you don't mind. Huh? Sure. Jamie asked for something better. That's a tad too broad a category, though. Maybe something manly would be better. Crimson also says, Your secrets <clears throat> are safe. Nah, they're gonna love this. In response to the YouTube stuff. <laughs> oh, to be fair, uh, Voho is actually... <laughs> you, want me, you want me to break the news to you, Ayn? Hmm. There is nobody coming to view Voho on my YouTube. But I don't <laughs> care. We're having our fun, and that's all I care about. Besides, this is an old game. It's not like people are going to flock to the media for watching uh, visual novels eight years later. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Let's see, we've got a pile driver or suplex, and I want to say a gut punch for bitter and manly. But you just gave him a gut punch, so no. Just gave him a gut punch. Let's try to hit him with something a little harder than a gut punch. How about a pile driver? To quote Joe from earlier, let's give Brian a suplex. <laughs> <laughs> what? They're missing out. They're missing out on Peach, says both Crimson <coughs> and Kate. I mean, to be fair, I'm surprised by some of the series that do pop off better on YouTube than not. But, you know, I'm pumping out, what, I have six different series at a time going on? So I'm not expecting many of them to really do numbers. I've only got two of them popping off. Uh, Kate says, isn't Nirvana coming out soon? Is it... Uh, it uh, is it that unviable? Uh, Nirvana is being pushed back for, I think, point forty six Parabellum, which is their kind of, like, third-person live-action shooter. I say live-action. Kind of, like, um, uh, arcade kind of shooter, in a way. Nirvana mm. got delayed even further for conflict of interest, I believe, between the writers and the developers. So it still uh, is on the table, but they're developing another game first, which was teased before Nirvana. So, just keep working out for that. But who knows? Maybe there's a modding mm. scene for Valhalla that I don't know about. Maybe. I don't know. I I, 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 I looked at this camera, but know. I shrugged my shoulders. You can't see, but I'm shrugging my shoulders. I don't know if there's if there's a modding <laughs> scene. There has to be. It's just a visual novel. Yeah. The shooter? Wow. Talk about disparity. I mean, developers can do whatever they want. There's a good amount of developers that have done wild, crazy things or so like that uh, divulge from everything. I yeah. that votes from like the original source, so I wouldn't be able to say too much. Oh, yes. You just reminded me of my grandpa. He used to eat Bronson roots every afternoon. He said they made him stronger. Bronson roots have more nutrients per gram than most vitamin supplements. Your grandpa knew what he was doing. It seems I always managed to make you uncomfortable, Jill. Sorry. Uh, no. Don't worry. 
Although I guess it's mostly because I can't wrap my mind around the whole taking a human life thing. Knowing you've killed people and are now talking to me here, it's... weird. It reminds me of when I first took sex ed classes. I couldn't wrap my mind around, my mind around people doing that stuff and living normally. Unlike with sex ed, it's better that you stay that way, mind you. Taking lives is not something you should get used to. I guess. I know a good way to change the subject a bit. Would you like to hear about the most dangerous bounty hunter in this city? The way you said that was like offering a tale to a bored kid, but yeah, I'd like to hear that one. Kate says, well, keep it, uh, well, so much for keeping it PG for YouTube. I'll be honest with you, Kate. If you watch the first episode, uh, we, are. <laughs> we have so many. Like the in just the first in canon day, we get people calling this a sh uh, hellhole, a shit house, and uh, asking, "Have you and ever faked an that one... or... Yeah, we'll keep it. Yeah, up. and that's <laughs> literally within somebody... the first day of this visual novel. So it'd be like episode two. And then the same episode. person, same person that asked if you've ever faked. <laughs> Faked an O, just comes in and says, "Hey, can you? F <laughs> I can't. I can't." Would I you can't like to be my it. lady for the night? <laughs> to put it simply. Uh. It, this uh, this universe is very uh, it, like it's very mature and it and it treats its audience in a mature way. So there's no doubt about that. But uh, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Looks like the episode is being demonetized anyway. I mean, there's worse stuff. At the very least. It's not that I've made any money on YouTube at all, so <laughs> I'm just saying, laconically, I can poke fun at it on how I've broken the monetization three times tonight, and I've broken it once. Oh, shut up. Ah, yeah, whatever. You see, there was actually a bounty hunter organization in this city not too long ago. Law enforcement would put a price on a dangerous person's head and pay for the proof of that person's death. There was a guy everyone called Jet Black James. He got the nickname because he always wore black clothes. The interesting thing was that the black clothes were there to hide bloodstains he got from his contracts. His tracking skills were top notch. His information network was the best. Some even joked he would finish the bounty within half an hour or he wouldn't take the reward. He was too good, in fact. At one point, he took all bounties and didn't take a single reward. He was just that crazy by then. The last bounty that the organization had ever posted was on James's head. The police had him cornered. His last words were, send it all to my account before shooting himself. Damn. Why hasn't that been made into a movie? So, there were no more bounties after that. A registered bounty hunter was charged with many counts of manslaughter using his old targets as proof. If somebody else tried to recreate the organization, the seed of doubt would grow in little to no time. What guarantee is there that such an organization wouldn't actually be a trap? They could use the registered bounty hunters to take care of the most bothersome criminals. And then dispose of the bounty hunters by pressing charges using their targets as evidence. So, no. Jet Black James made sure that no law enforcement organization is able to set up bounty hunting of any kind. Ever since then, anyone crazy enough to be a bounty hunter works independently. Were you part of that organization? I've actually had those suspicions I'm telling you about since the day I heard such a thing exists. Glad to know I wasn't just paranoid. I don't know how well you changed the subject, but that was certainly one interesting story. Just to make sure, you're not a rebuilt Jip like James or something. Right? The name James is pretty common, Jill. Besides, if I remember correctly, his real name was actually Theodore. Oh. That story left my throat a bit dry. Give me a beer, please. Sure. I'll just use the restroom beer. as you do this right stuff. Up. But continue okay. on without me. You got it. Hmm. Gotta make sure we double up on these drinks just to make sure we're racking in enough money. Oh 
mixed. There we go. Here. One of mankind's oldest friends. Cheers. One obvious thing I see is that you don't take the use of the word kill in your stride the way Gillian does. I'm not good with violence. That's good. It's interesting, though. When I compare you two, it's obvious Gillian has seen quite the share of traumatic stuff. That guy's a handful because of that sometimes. Still, he's one of the most reliable people I've ever met. Where is he, by the way? I asked him to keep an eye on a girl that came here earlier. I feel that if something happened, he could resolve the situation. His nose must be itching after we talked so much about him. Yeah, maybe. Well, no, I've got to go. Send my regards to your boss at Gillian. Will do. Man, today's been quite heavy. Everyone... I feel like something interesting is about to pop up here, so I'm gonna pause and wait for Cruzy to get back. <laughs>